I'm always doing the most. Finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back. Let it swing right back. Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video, I am going to be showing you how to sculpt a short, natural-ish looking kind of set. And I'm going to be using the Nail Mate Nail Forms and the number 10 mag Magic Stick. And also this is our acrylic as well. So we're using the full system and it's going to be bomb. So if you guys want to see how I do it, then just keep watching this video. Also, this is just a short, sweet video. Um, I just wanted to kind of like show you guys the method and the procedure that I take to sculpt a nice short set because sometimes we can't always wear long nails, we have to have something a bit more practical and since I'm competing in the scratch awards I decided that I needed something a bit shorter because I am getting serious, like I so seriously want to get like a trophy of some form like seriously so bad that is my aim for like this year at some point i need and want a trophy i have got a medal which i thought was pretty bomb as well but that is my goal for this year to bring home a trophy so shortening the nails is a must because competition is fierce you know and hopefully i'm gonna vlog that for you guys i'm not sure if you can like film but we'll see we will see so I went ahead and sculpted the nail and after I have waited for that nail to set and the, the acrylic has gone matte, I'm coming in just with my fingers to pinch ever so slightly. I'm not using a tool or anything like that, I'm literally just using my fingers, pinching into shape and adding a nice C curve. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing. So that's pretty much it for this video. I'm just showing you guys how I sculpt a short set. I usually do it with two beads, three sometimes but usually two one at the center of the nail and press it down with the belly of your brush creating the shape at the free edge that you want so that you're minimalizing that filing time and then i'll come in with the bead at the cuticle area make sure to pat it and tuck it in so that it is flush with that natural um, cuticle area and the natural nail and that there's no big step up because that will cause lifting and issues along the life of the nail of the fake nail should i say so this is how it looks and once I've done that I'll just come in with a hand file and my e-file, file the nails, buff them if I need to buff them, if I'm applying some gel over the top they won't get buffed because you do need a rough surface for any gel polish or gel paints to adhere to, that's just the way that they work. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that, finish off this video and let you guys watch in peace and quiet with a little bit of music, you know because I haven't really got much more to say, it's just the same procedure again and then filing and buffing and it is a little bit late at night if I'm talking quite quiet and let me know down below as well if you guys got yourself a magic stick I use the size 10 let me know if you've got one and if you have got one and you love it then please leave some feedback on the website because I love, love reading your guys' feedback on all of our products I'm checking all the time and everyone leaves such nice comments like it's literally so heartwarming and I am so thankful and grateful for everyone's support because it is honestly out of this world you guys are freaking bomb So now I've finished sculpting and I've removed the nail forms, I'm coming in with the large cone carbide bit and this is the medium and I am going to go ahead and refine the shape and also blend in slightly at the cuticle area and then I'll also come in with my smooth top ceramic bit. Both of these bits are available at glitterplanetuk.com, they are currently in the essentials bit collection and I've just done a video on showing you guys. Um, a demo and a rundown of the drill bits that you get in that kit and that um, in the case 
but they will also be available individually to purchase as well because I do understand that some people only want certain ones or you know they want to try one out they don't want to buy the full collection so that is why we will be making all of them available individually as well as for the um, essentials kit Once I've finished refining with the e-file, I'm going to come in with the hand files and these are from Glitter Planet. They come in a packet of five. They are the 100-180 grit nail files and I absolutely love them so much. I'm just going ahead and refining the free edge and I'll also make sure to finish file the top of the nail as well. I always like to do that no matter what grit of sand, uh, band that I've used or what grit of bit that I've used for my e-file. I'll always come in with my hand file afterwards to finish file. Once I've done that, I'll show you guys the final result and that is it. It is super simple and super easy and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. And don't forget that I do upload videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Thank you so much for watching and please always remember that you are bomb.com lit as fuck and don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Goodbye. See you later, alligator. I'm always doing the most. Finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back. Let it swing right back. back.